I will reveal that I learned a lot about myself as well in terms of like things that were not very pleasant. Like I learned about um, my own arrogance. Um, I learned about my own uh, way that I use charm to deflect things and how thin that can be sometimes. Um, I learned about all these qualities of myself that are, um, that are sort of weak covers uh, that were necessary for the character and were kind of great to play. But I learned that they were not so difficult for me to play. And uh, so it was like very interesting. It's very interesting to discover stuff about yourself that isn't always romantic and good. Like there's lots of inner strength that I uncovered as well. But, but there's also these qualities where you're like, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not what I see I have myself a question. as. I have a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Because like now I'm going into doing the second season and I have never done that before. Played the same character over a period of time. And I, I feel like my character learned the same things I learned. Like, did your character learn the same things that you learned? Um, a little bit, yeah. I mean, it's it's really interesting. It was the first time I'd ever done a second season of a show as well. So, the going into the second season, I was really nervous because the arc of him in the first season is so complete and perfect. Yeah. Like, he starts off such a jerk, and then he learns to live, and he he saves the child that he could have saved. You know, he couldn't have saved with his own child and he breathes again and like he's alive, right? right? So it's like- And then you're like, go again. Well, no, no, so yeah, so you're like, what do you do, right? Yeah. Because the, and the construct of TV is like Gilligan's Island. Like you always show up on the island in the red shirt. Like, so you're always the same guy. Like you're, you know, or like friends, like you're always like friends, right? right. Like, so the idea that a character, you're gonna have to take a different journey. Like the, the impulse is like, let's just do the same thing. Like have him say coffee and contemplation, like bring out all the hits and like have him be adorable and then grow to, but you can't do that. So I was very conscious starting the second season that this has to be a totally different journey and arc. Um, and he's a totally different guy. And so in the year, in the year before uh, season two starts, I had to think very specifically about what transpired in that year and then what I wanted to play going into season two. And I actually talked to the writers about this as well, that would be totally different, but would expand upon what we did before. Mm -hmm. um, and also like, I think that what's interesting, so interesting about characters, uh, like him particularly is like, you know, in terms of his tragedy or what he deals with, he starts the first season five years out from the death of his daughter. So what interested me was less the death of his daughter and more the five years. Mm -hmm. Like, how does that per person go to the supermarket? Like, how does that person just walk around town? They're not sad anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, I mean, of course they're destroyed, but they, but they have charm and wit and things like that. So in terms of saving Will and what that savior complex does to you in a year and then how you can start season two in terms of that savior complex was very interesting and see the arc of that. Mm -hmm. But it's very, it's, you, it's the same guy, but I had to make him very different. The work I had to do was very different going into season two. I don't know if personally I, I sort of like my work more in season one, mm -hmm. but I, I do know that I was proud of myself for at least trying to do something very, very different in season two and not sticking to what I knew from season one. Mm -hmm.